I am back. Today I'm going to be trying some Japanese snacks. Let's get started. Um, I kind of ate, already ate one of these. Say Pandaro, Melon Pandaro Panda Biscuit. Basically tastes like a shortbread cookie. First up we have a mini bottle of... Mini Bottle Ramoon. It's a bottle powdered Ramoon candy. Yeah, in a bottle. It's basically just this tiny bottle. Inside of it is basically sherb sherbet. If I can get the lid off, the lid doesn't come off. Oh, just like that. All right. Well, I like that. I was expecting a bit of sour to it. Oh god, my throat's killing me. Yeah. I was expecting a little bit of sour, sour from this. But you can't get everything you want. Anyway, next thing. Now we're gonna try one of this, 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 this. Whatever the hell this is. It's called Compito. At least I think it is. It's flower shaped sugar candy. And it comes in three colors yellow, we have um, green, and we have what seems to be either cloudy white or pink. That's, that has to be like cloudy white. I have no clue. So, yellow first. Oh, it's hard. Tastes like sugar. Nothing interesting. Green. I listen to the crunch. Ooh. Tastes like um sugar. <laughs> this is just this is just sugar. This little baggy here is just Pure and adulterated sugar. I'll leave those in a bit. Medicine. This looks like medicine. So this is Sakurambo Mochi. It's cherry flavored candy made of rice cake. Huh? I'm trying to open this. Comes with a toothpick. What do I do use with this? I can't read any of this because it's all in Japanese. But I guess we grab the skewer. Skewer a piece. Like that. Whoa. That's chewy. But it's more like gummy. I thought it would be more like fondant. Tastes like... Mm, it doesn't really taste interesting. Still good though. Now we have some of this. Cuppy Lamoon. I'm checking this piece of paper. I don't think it has a name. Yeah, it's called, It's just Cuppy Ramoon. Little round shaped Ramoon candy quickly dissolves in one's mouth. Orange, lemon, and strawberry flavor. Let's try it. This is going to be a few. This is going to be like a few part series. And I'm not sure how this is going to be. So this is going to be the last snack for this episode, for this part. Well, maybe I'll try one more. Well, I'll try one more after this one. Actually, I think I've got two more. Oops. Mm. Basic. 
I like it. And now I've got two more that I want to try, even though they're pretty small. First, we have a haichu. I'm not even kidding. It literally says here what it is. It's a Japanese haichu. Apple flavoured. <sighs> I've had haichu before. Yeah. Why is it so hard to open? Yeah. There we go. Oh, what the? Oh, it's very hard to open. But it is un recognizably green hmm hmm very hard it kind of it kind of sticks to your teeth because I'm ha so I'm having a lot of hard time chewing Mmm. All this other stuff I have looks really nice. This is good as well. Very good. And the last snack I really want to try is this. This is Pokemon Chewing Gum. I vote and I really want to try it because of two things. One, Pokemon. Everyone loves Pokemon. And two, for one simple reason. I like gum. Unwrap. Oh! Okay. It's a massive piece. I thought there's going to be like a few mini pieces inside. Kind of like, um, juicy fruit. Very juicy. Yeah. That's a good gun. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um, video of me eating random Japanese snacks. If you want to see a part two, I'll give you a part two. See you later, guys. Happy Easter, by the way.